Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at ChatGPT Plus and compare it against Claude Pro and see which particular you know AI tool is the better one for you. Now, number one, the big thing to keep in mind here is that both of these you know tools are very very popular. They are awesome models, and you can go and do a lot of stuff within them. Now, a big thing to keep in mind is that ChatGPT and you know Claude, which is made by Anthropic, these are two different types of tools that take two different models. They have their own thing going on with them. They both have like free versions that you can go and kind of use. And they also have like paid versions. And in this video, we're taking a look at the paid version. Now, number one, the big thing to keep in mind, these two are two different companies, two different providers, but their prices are the same. So they're both giving you about $20 a month. If you want to go and upgrade to them, they're both the same exact price, which is good for comparison's sake, because if you wanted to go and pick up these, they're basically going to be the exact same price. So that in and of itself is going to be pretty cool. I think ChatGPT is probably one of the more popular options out there. I think that's the one that I would look at for a lot of people and probably think to myself, like, you know, that's probably the most popular one. But with that being said, I still think there's a lot of capability here for sure. Both of them offer two different types of models. So with ChatGPT, you have the option of going down to like the cheaper model, but you can also go up to the more expensive model as well. Whereas on something like the Anthropic model, it's basically the exact same process as well. So the ChatGPT model is a GPT-4, and there's a Turbo model, which is faster, cheaper. It's a cheaper variant. The Claude model is Claude 3 Opus. It's a top tier Claude model. That's what they stated. So could be really cool. They also support file uploads. So you can go through and you can upload images, you can upload PDFs, document files, whatever you want. So you do have basically, um, you have the file upload file options, which in and of itself is a really cool thing. On top of that, you know, for the most part, when it comes down to coding and all that kind of stuff, from what was reported online, from what we're seeing, it looks like Claude does a good job but it looks like ChatGPT might be the better option here. From what we're seeing, ChatGPT kind of has the most amount of users right now. So they're going to have the most amount of data and use cases to improve their system. So because of that, you're probably going to end up getting an overall better experience inside of something like ChatGPT, especially if you're trying to go down in like the coding route rather than something like the Claude model. So again, it isn't the biggest deal in the world, but if you are trying to go and kind of compare them, look at them side by side, that is probably going to be one of the bigger things here for the most part. So definitely keep that in mind in and of itself. Now, on top of that, when it comes down to their, you know, I guess their plugins and the capability that you have, as of right now, ChatGPT does have plugin support where Claude does not really have plugin support. It might not be that big of a deal, but there could be some, you know, things that you kind of want in the future. So that is kind of a big thing. I feel like if you're going to go through and like pick up some sort of a device or, you know, upgrade your model, it would be kind of nice to have some sort of capability there. And I feel like that is kind of a disadvantage for Claude. And also there's no memory capability inside of Claude either. So in ChatGPT, you can store and remember, you know, I guess information, a multitude of different sessions. Whereas on Claude, you don't really get that type of capability there. So that right there is going to be another somewhat disadvantage or kind of a downgrade in some ways because you're not going to be getting that type of capability. So in my opinion, when you're kind of looking at it, I kind of do feel like if you're going to go through and kind of get a different device or you're going to upgrade your model, it does make a lot of sense in my personal opinion to go through and basically use something like ChatGPT+. I feel like that one is the better option. I feel like that's the one that I look at as being probably the better one for a majority of people. However, if you want to save some money, you can also go through and, you know, get the free models of both. But I do think ChatGPT Plus is the better one here in my personal opinion. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.